Barrel certainly taking its toll. Hospitals across the Houston area also swamped in the wake of the storm. We've seen crowded emergency rooms, six hospitals in Harris County right now still in what's called internal disaster mode. ABC 13's Luke Jones explains from the Med Center. One of the reasons hospital administrators think they're seeing so many extra patients, a lot of these smaller clinics still don't have electricity. So if you normally go there for something like dialysis, you now have nowhere to turn but the main hospital. And there are plenty of people with health care needs still stuck in hot homes, unsure how much longer they'll be able to hang on. I'm keeping my insulin right now in my trunk on ice. It's the best Gunter Grigo can do to save his three-month supply of insulin after his Greenspoint apartment lost power. Now, for two days, I got a hotel room, but I don't have any more money to spend on a hotel. The lights are finally back on at half his complex, just not his half, and with a host of medical conditions, including diabetes. I definitely can't be in the heat. The medications that I'm taking, I'm, I'm on six of them, and I can't be in the heat. All the more troubling since medical attention has been a little harder to come by since barrel hit. We have 43 dialysis clinics that are still having issues right now. Many of those patients flooding emergency rooms. Ben Taub reports 320 ER patients yesterday. That's 34% more than they'd see on a typical high volume day. We had a police officer who was shot in the leg and when the mayor went down to see him the next day, he still didn't have a room. Many hospitals unable to discharge patients to hot homes, causing a backlog of ambulances waiting to drop new patients off. Some of them had been sitting there for three plus hours. To help ease the strain on hospitals, NRG Stadium is taking some of those discharged patients, eventually as many as 250. The state also sent in 25 ambulances from other parts of Texas, yet none of that will help those left fending for themselves at home. I, could, I couldn't sleep in here. No way. I'd, I'd probably die. I think I would. You know, this heat is just unbearable. Luke Jones, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.